Hey guys, welcome to the first edition of Pompinions and Bear Reviews, where I'll be sharing my honest opinion with you guys about either products or services or things I like or dislike. It's completely open to anything that I want to talk about, so it won't necessarily be just makeup. And I'm also accepting suggestions if there's anything that you guys would like to see me talk about. This is the place to ask down below, and this is the place where you will see me talk about it. I know this is very different from my other videos. I usually just post tutorials and time lapses and that sort of thing, but I wanted to share my opinions with you guys. A lot of you ask me what I think about certain products I use, and I thought this would be a good spot to kind of answer all the questions at once. So I hope you enjoy it, and if you have any suggestions or requests, please let me know in the comments below. Today I'm going to talk about a wig that was sent to me by abhair.com. It is this wig. If you saw on social media, you might have seen me wearing it. So this is a 24 inch. As you can see, it is very, very long. It's a lace front, so you can see the lace here. I haven't cut it off yet. Even though I've worn it, I haven't cut it off yet. I just tucked the lace in and wore a hat. <laughs> because I was saving it to show you guys how to cut lace, and uh, the way I like to do it. I've worn this wig twice, two days in a row. And at this point, I'm comfortable giving my opinion on it. My first impressions were the texture is really nice. And then when wearing it, I felt that it has a lot of hair. Not only is it very long, but it has a lot of hair to it. I wanna show you the cap. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's got the little straps to adjust the size. So the way you do it is you get these little hooks and there's little loops here down at the bottom and you just loop the hook wherever it's comfortable for you. So if you want it tighter, if you have a smaller head and you want it tighter, you loop it closer to the center. I usually loop mine right at this first one, like that, because I have kind of a big head. <laughs> this is what some brands would call a premium lace front because it's got quite a bit of lace. It gives you kind of room to play around with the part a little bit. So there's more hair on the lace here and then it goes smaller to the sides and here again. And it's got some hair at the sides all the way down here. I guess it makes sense for the price range. Their wigs are about 130, 140. That's kind of the price range of their wigs. So it makes sense that it's got a lot of lace. So I was really happy with that. And it's got these little combs as well for you to stick into your own hair so that the wig stays on better. Here you can see where the hair parts, the lace goes all the way back here. A lot of people ask the amount of lace that you leave in and that really depends on your own needs. I've seen a lot of beauty bloggers who cut the lace right where the hair stops. They barely leave any lace on the wig at all. and. The reason they do that is because a lot of them don't glue their wigs down. Some people secure them with wig tape, which is essentially a really strong double-sided tape, and some people like to glue their wigs down with spirit gum. I like to glue down my wigs, so I leave a bit more lace, just so I have somewhere to apply the glue, because I don't want to get the glue on the hair. If you don't glue your wigs down, then you don't need as much lace after the hair stops. And that's fine, but I had training in ventilating and making fake beards and mustaches and wigs and that kind of thing, and I got used to leaving some extra lace so that I could glue it down. So that's just the way I prefer to, especially for cosplay. I like to glue it down so that it's secure on my head all day and I don't have to worry about it moving around. You can just put like little dabs of it. You don't have to like completely glue it down. You can just do little dots of glue here and there and it'll be fine. I like leaving extra lace, especially around the sideburns, so that I can pull it out and then glue it down, and then you have perfect sideburns. If you don't glue this down, this can like flap up. Be careful though, don't pull on your lace too hard. You never want to be rough when it comes to lace because it can rip and then, you know. I'm just gonna lay the wig flat on my hand, make sure there's no hair in the way. You can do this on a flat surface, it's probably easier, but I just want to show you guys. I'm just going to start off, and I start off leaving quite a bit, and then I can trim it down further. There's no real trick to it, um, you just cut it off. I'm going to cut here the sides, I'm going to leave quite a bit, so then I can adjust it after. 
Now the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. So this is what my lace looks like now. It is shorter at the front and longer at the sides. I still left quite a bit on because I just want to try it on, but I'm definitely going to trim this down even more. So I'm actually just going to round off the tips of the sideburns before I try it on. I'm going to follow the shape of the sideburn. Now, if my hair wasn't shaved, I'd be wearing a wig cap and all that. A lot of people ask me how I wear my hair under wigs. When I had long hair, I would do two braids and then I'd just pin them back. I'd, I'd put them around the back of my head and that tends to work really well. If you have a lot of hair, it might be best to do multiple braids, like do French braids. Or if you want to have really nice hair when you take off the wig, you can do pin curls. And that's the super classic and traditional way of wearing hair under a wig. What I really like about this wig is it has the shape of an actual hairline. It doesn't just come straight down. I'm gonna trim it down all the way around, but as you can see, the lace is very discreet. Now I've trimmed it even more. As you can see, just a little bit of lace is left. And always when you put on the wig, make sure the sides aren't tucked in because that'll happen, these little guys. Here it's still pretty visible because I have to glue this down, but here it's lying really flat against my skin and you can barely see the lace at all. And that's what you want from a lace run. The glue really helps to mask the, the lace. This wig is heat resistant, so you can use styling tools on it, which is pretty awesome. Just be careful with the heat. It is still plastic, so you don't want to go crazy on the heat. And to brush out any knots that your wig may have, use something like a wide tooth comb or something like a brush that won't catch in the wig because you really don't want to pull out wig hairs. It's not like your head where if you pull out hair, it will just grow back. This is a wig, so if you pull out hair, it's gone. So the least amount of hair you can pull out of it, the better. I'll usually lay them flat on the ground or on the bed or anywhere that I can just lay them down. And then I'll start brushing at the tips and move upwards. And that way you can get the tangles out easier and you won't pull so much on the hair. So I would definitely recommend this wig. The main reasons I like it are it has a lot of hair. The lace is really big at the front, so it is a premium lace front. and the colors that they offer are really cool. They have a lot of ombre colors, so they have like this but in pink, they have it in white and gray, so they're really like the, the trendy colors at the moment. The way I've been wearing the wig that's gotten me loads of compliments is by braiding it, like pigtail braids, so I just divide it in half and then just braid it up. And it's super simple, but because of the amount of hair, the braids look really nice. They're like big, thick braids. I like to start with the back one and do the front one last because then it gives this nice, loose hair at the front. That's one braid done. You can see it's a really thick braid. It's really nice. It's heavy. It's got a lot of hair to it. I like keeping this part a little fluffier because it's just more delicate around the face. Then same thing with this side. Especially this side since the part comes this way. I like leaving this part a lot looser because then you get that nice kind of long fringe. Then you can tug on this a little bit to get it a bit looser, and it's done. I can wear caps with it, and it looks super cute, the caps and the braids. So yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I like playing with my braids. I'm gonna glue the sides just so you guys can see how I like to glue my wigs. So here I just have some spirit gum. Oh my god. The way spirit gum works is that you have to touch it for it to get tacky. So I peel the lace back a little bit and then I apply the spirit gum where I want it to be and then you kind of tap on it until it gets tacky. See my finger starting to stick. And then you can just go and lay 
the lace down and press down on it and it's glued down to the skin. But make sure there's no hair in there, otherwise you'll get goopy hair. You don't want that. So you can see that's glued down now. So you can pull it and it won't move. Like, my skin is moving, obviously, but the wig itself isn't. I'm gonna wear a hat today, so I'm not gonna glue it all the way down. So I'm just putting it on, and then it looks like it's my actual hair. It's really cute. Yeah, let me know if you guys like this. I want to make it a regular thing, but I obviously want to know what you think. So let me know if you like it, and I'll keep doing it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!